Hi, my third person slasher movement game just got its own Steam page, and it would be really cool if any of you wishes it did. It would help me a ton to boost it up a little bit in the big Steam algorithm, and it would make this whole thing worth it. So if you do end up wishing it, thank you. Ad over. Ever since Super Mario Bros, games have been busy introducing the concept of levels. Naturally, the bigger the game, the more levels it had. They would soon start to get divided into chapters, worlds, acts, whatever you want to call them. In my game, I tried to neatly organize everything into three categories. Acts, chapters, and levels. Acts being the three main divisions of a story, and chapters being each individual building that the story and the levels take place in. There is currently 23 levels in the game, and it will probably stay that way. This number may not seem that huge, but when I'm out there battling my way through fixing random bugs that are tied to specific levels, it can get pretty messy trying to find all of them. So today, I want to show you my implementation of a game manager for managing not only levels, but also universal variables that are used throughout the game. The main component of the game manager is the level manager. We want the level manager to do a couple of things. Let's list them out. First of all, we definitely want to preview all of the levels in our game, just a regular list with access to them. From there, we want to be able to quickly enter any level in the editor and edit variables that are tied to that specific level. Those variables being the level name, which act the level is from, the preview banner, and the best score and clear time, for example. So to do that, we create a level entry class in which we specify all of the variables that we need. We then make a level manager scriptable object that literally just stores an array of level entries. Now that we are done with the level manager part, we need to quickly go over the concept of custom inspectors in Unity. Unity's big advantage is that its editor is very customizable. Anyone who knows how to can easily create any inspector window that will display, edit, preview any data they want. We won't be going over custom inspectors in depth, but we'll use the most basic functions of it to create our game manager window. We first have to specify an array of strings that will have all of our tab names and also an integer for switching between them. Then, in the Unity function on GUI, we begin a vertical editor layout. Then, we draw all of the tabs that we need. The drawing is pretty complex, but all of it happens through this generic function that literally just reads each scriptable object and renders out the array that it finds in each of them. At the end, we end our vertical layout, and that should be it for the levels part. Because the drawing function is generic, the other scriptable objects work exactly the same. We have a game definition scriptable object that just has many arrays that describe things in the game, like buildings, game states, and abilities. And yes, our game manager can just add a tab for each of these. Now that we have everything that we need, we can preview all of the different variables hiding within the classes that the arrays contain. We can also enter each level easily by double-clicking on the scene. We can edit all the values and they will be automatically saved. At the bottom of the inspector, I want to add three little buttons that all correspond to opening the free test or UI-only scenes that are more on the back-end side of the game. This allows me to quickly go between regular scenes and the technical ones in the matter of seconds, so I can, for example, change one thing in some UI page that's in one of the scenes, or test an encounter with some enemies. Very useful. The possibilities are endless with Unity's inspector windows. Just as a side note, this video is not a tutorial, just a technical overview of sorts. There was barely any code and my explanation skills are not good enough to do actually good tutorials. Therefore, if you want to learn more about inspector windows in Unity and how they are used, please go down to the video description and check out the videos there. If not for them, I probably wouldn't be able to create this game manager, and they really helped me to grasp the whole system and made my game dev process a little easier. What you just watched was an informative video about game development. If you like what you saw and want to watch more of this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing. Or better yet, we should listing my game Robo Samurai on Steam. I've been making this game for quite a while now, so it would be really cool if you wishlisted it. Making these videos motivates me to learn more things about game development and programming. So, thank you for watching, peace.